Okay, so we're going to show you how to unrar a RAR file using the 7-zip file manager. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, I have this on my desktop, but I'm going to show you how you can access it from anywhere um, on your computer, the 7-zip uh, file manager. Um, it's very simple. All you have to do is just put your mouse over top of the file. Okay, and then just go right click and you'll notice that there's, it says extract files, extract here. Okay, this is for WinRAR. I already have this installed. See where it says 7-zip? You'll see some very similar functions right here. So, so anyways, if you want to use 7-zip and not WinRAR, you, although you have to have WinRAR, WinRAR installed for these to show up, um, just go to 7-zip. And it'll give you all your different options of how to extract and get inside of the RAR file to access our MP4 file. Okay, so uh, the, there's a video inside of this RAR file called Sport Karate Defensive Tactics uh, MP4. Um, I named it MP4 because it's an MP4 video file. That's a video file format. Those of you who don't aren't familiar with uh, video. Um, on the computer and on the internet. Uh, MP4 is a compacted uh, video format so that it's easier to transport over the internet for down, you know, specifically for uh, downloading purposes and that type of thing. Um, and it can also be used to, uh, to just even play back uh, on other devices that can handle larger files, it's just that it doesn't take up as much space as say like an MPEG-2 video file format. Okay, so let's go through this again. We want to unrar this. Let's uh, go right click and go down to where it says 7 zip and see where it says extract to sport karate defensive tactics MP4 and then there's a, uh, a slash, a backslash. That means that it will go to a file, it will extract it and put it into a file folder. Now, since we are on the desktop here right now, um, and this would apply to anywhere you are or any folder you're in in your computer. Um, but because this is on our desktop, what this will do is it will extract the file and create a new file that says Sport Karate Defensive Tactics, place it on desktop, and then put that MP4 file inside of it. And I'll show you how that's done. So we just right click, go to 7-zip, go to Extract, Sport Karate Defensive Tactics, MP4, click on that. And you can see over here that it created a file folder and right now it's extracting that mp4 file and putting it nicely inside of this folder. So it'll just take a few seconds. It's about a half a gig, this file in size. Okay, so let's double click, open up that file folder and you can see, see the name Sport Defensive Tactics MP4. It's the same name as this RAR file except now it's just a file folder and then it has the, um, the video file from within. So all I have to do now is double click on this. Our Windows Media Player opens up and it will start playing the file. Okay, I'm gonna turn the sound down because I don't want it to start making noise when I'm doing stuff. So as you can see here, uh, we have our video file. Okay, and it might look a little uh, stuttery or not smooth moving because I'm just using screen capture software right now to uh, record this. Um, from my end, it's nice and super smooth, just like uh, regular television. Okay, so that is the uh, that is how we use our 7-zip using um, our right mouse click option. Once again, you put the mouse over top, right click, and open up your file. Let's um, Let's delete that. Let's click on top of that and let's go delete. We'll kill that. Okay. Um, we can also, let's look at our other options. We can go, uh, it says extract files, but let's go extract here, which means it will open up this RAR file, the 7-zip file manager. It will open up this RAR file, but instead of putting it in a folder, It'll just put the file or files, plural, if there's more than one inside here, and it'll place that on the desktop or wherever you are on your hard drive. So let's right click, go to 7-zip, extract here. 
So see how it just popped up over here? We have the file and it's almost done extracting and there we are. So Sport Karate Defensive Tactics. Now it doesn't have a file folder from within. Now depending on your situation, you may or may not want to put stuff in file folders. I like to do it just, just to be organized, but once again, double click and there's your video file. Okay, same as before. Okay, let's delete that because we don't need it. Now, there are other ways to access this. Now, I put the 7-zip file manager on my desktop. Okay, um, you can double click on it that way and access it. And right now, um, it's it's logging on to our, our desktop. So see, you can see defensive uh, karate, uh, sorry, sport karate defensive tactics. Um, where our file is right here, and all I have to do is click extract. Okay, and then you have the um, the address where you want it to be extracted to. Currently, right now, it's on the desktop, and because of this backslash, that means it's going to create a folder on the desktop. So let's leave everything in its default setting. Click OK. And there you go. It's very nicely created that for us. Let's again click on it and it will open up our file. OK. Now, you can also decide which media player it's going to play with. So um, you can see that there's a few of them right here. You can select those. Uh, my default media player is the Windows media player. So it just automatically, when you double click on it, it selects that one. If you want a different media player to be uh, to open up, OK, you have to change that in your, your settings. You have to change which, uh, which uh, program it's going to play with. OK, so um, let's see. What else can we do? So we showed you accessing it from here. Now, for some, if you don't have it on your desktop and you, you're, not, you're not into the, the whole right-clicking thing, even though it's very, very simple, um, you just go down to your Start menu, OK, and you go to um, we go down to our program, sorry, we go click on start, click on all programs, okay, and we just find our 7-zip folder. Open that up, okay, and then click on that, and it opens it up the same way as we did here. So same thing, uh, we just have to go to that location on the hard drive, okay, and we click on Sport Karate Defensive Tactics, click Extract, okay and where we want it to extract to and you just you can you can decide you can change which folder you want it to extract to but like i said once again we'll just let it open up on our desktop and uh actually cancel i'm going to delete this first before we do that because we just forgot to do it for the example um, so click on that go to extract um, once again you can pick where you want on the hard drive but it's already in the right uh it's already selecting the right file folder address and click OK. And once again, we're reopening it back up again. OK, so pretty simple. Um, if you have any any more questions, please uh, email me at videoman at idirect.com. Um, if you're having problems with your downloads, same thing. Email me as well. Um, another thing I just want to let people know about, if you get an error when you open up one of these RAR files, um, it says cannot extract, um, you know, file is corrupt. Usually that means that your file um, somehow got cut off during the download process and it didn't finish downloading properly. So an incomplete RAR file, you can't open it properly. Um, or there'll be files missing within that type of thing. So, but considering there's only one file in here, if this doesn't get downloaded properly, you won't be able to open it at all. There won't be anything to open because it's not complete. Okay. 
Um, a lot of times people are, the first thing they jump to the conclusion is that there's something wrong with the file on our server. Um, Usually, like I said, whenever we have whenever we have someone complain about uh, their their file is corrupt or whatever, it's because somehow they've accidentally canceled their download, or somehow their their download got cut off. Now, if you're using a wireless internet connection, um, that can create problems sometimes as well. If you can. Um, if you can do, do when you if you have the ability to do your downloads uh, directly connected to your uh, your high speed internet uh, modem, it's best to do it that way. Um, it, it's not a rule, but like I said, sometimes wireless does create problems in complete files. So um, another way, another thing that I wanted to talk about uh, before we go is the ability to check your file sizes. Um, so if you have to communicate with us, say for some reason, like I said, you're having problems, it, it, it keeps cutting off. We, in order for us to know for sure whether it's cut off, um, we need to know the file size. Now right now you can see where I scrolled over top of this, it says size 514. Um, if you right click on that and go down to properties, you will see it says size and it has it says 514 megabytes, but it goes right down to the bytes and size on disk. These numbers here, right down to the last byte, okay, they have to be exact at your end. Now, this is the numbers that are at my end that are on our our payload server and our other server. And uh, so if if this is even off by a few bytes, that means that the file did not download correctly. Okay. So that means something's gone wrong. Okay, and there are ways to, to fix that, but like I said, um, the ability to know how big your, your file is, okay, is very important if we're doing problem solving, if for some reason something goes wrong. It doesn't happen very often, um, but in order to clear up any type of discrepancy for us to know whether there's a problem at your end or our end, uh, you need to, like I said, know how to check your properties boom once again it's just a simple right click over top of the file go down to properties and there it is it might be a little bit different on a mac um i don't use a mac um, i use pcs only okay so let's uh stop here and uh we'll see you again soon